Hello, I'm Fiona Curie from Style Liberation and creator of Facebook group 35 plus where to shop. We help women 35 plus to create a wardrobe full of outfits that they absolutely love and more importantly that they feel absolutely fabulous in and look great in too. We do that through our face-to-face -face consulting, so colour, style, wardrobe and shopping. We also do it through an online program called The Style Transformation, as well as our membership, The Super Stylers. Now, the most common phrase after working with thousands of women over 10 years is that when they start out working with us, what we hear from them is that I have a wardrobe full of clothes, but I feel like I have nothing to wear. And there is one key element in terms of that. It feels a little bit blah or boring for them or doesn't really feel like it represents who they are in their life right now. So what often happens is they go to just two or three key pieces that they change up with other items and are not feeling particularly excited or inspired by their wardrobe. And given that we start our mornings in front of our wardrobe every day, it should be a place where we have a really positive experience to start off. So what we often find is some pieces in your wardrobe, when it gets to that stage, when you're feeling a bit bored with your wardrobe and it doesn't feel like it really reflects you, we say that some of those pieces are creating what we call the alien effect. The alien effect is when you put something on, you like it in theory, the fit's really great, the colour's really great. I mean, you've probably gone and bought it with friends and family and you've come out of the change room and everyone gone, wow, you look amazing. But when you get it home, something doesn't feel quite right. And you may think to yourself, well, where am I actually going to wear this? And sometimes when you think you're going to wear it and you put it on, it doesn't make it out the front door. You take it off again because it just you just don't feel at ease in it. It doesn't feel like home. It doesn't feel comfortable. Or worse, you put it on and the whole um, day or evening, you're sitting there going, I feel really, really strange in this. It just doesn't feel like me. When you put clothes on that reflect your style and your lifestyle, you don't give it a second thought. It's like this instant confidence booster and you don't think about it for the rest of the time. And you'll actually be taken aback when people start giving you compliments. Because for you, it's just this thing that you put on, almost like this armour that you will feel absolutely fabulous in. You won't be tugging at it. You won't be pulling at it. You just feel really, really great. So the alien effect is those items of clothing that don't really match your style and lifestyle. And I know that many of us have those pieces in our wardrobe and they're sitting there unloved and languishing there and maybe, just maybe, also teasing us or tormenting us with the price tag on too. So how does this happen? How do we end up with alien pieces in our wardrobes? Well, life happens. You know, what used to cut it in our 20s, 30s and even 40s and 50s may not cut it for us anymore. You know, our lifestyle um, and our lives change over time. Things happen. And so does our style and how we want to present ourselves will change over that period as well. So it's no surprise that we'll sort of move on or grow out of things. And not I'm talking in a physical sense. Sometimes that happens too. But we'll move on from that particular style and it doesn't really reflect who we are at the moment. And you know what? That's okay. So when you feel like that about your wardrobe, it's often an indication that what we call your style personality has changed. And I want to say this was very much the case for one of our gorgeous clients, Alice. So Alice is a fab mum of two based in regional New South Wales, and she also runs a family business with her husband. So she shared with us before she went through her own style transformation process that she felt when she looked at her wardrobe it didn't really feel like her. It felt a bit blah and boring. You see, in her early 20s, when she was starting out in the corporate world, she loved that beautiful structured tailored dress style, putting on a pair of heels, really accessorizing, using rich colors. 
And what she expressed to us is that, you know, feeling like that she had to be practical and comfortable, you know, chasing, you know, three young kids around, she felt like her wardrobe was really blah and boring. And what she calls um, her mum wardrobe just didn't really feel like her. So what she learned from us and what we shared with her was how to inject that style that she loves, you know, things that are elegant, a little bit creative, maybe even sultry and dramatic into everyday wear. And that's where often we can get really stuck. How can we do that? Like when we've got to be practical, chasing kids around, getting to work, having something that crosses over both contexts, how do we actually do that? It's really about understanding the elements that you are really attracted to. Like, is it colour? Is it fit? Is it the accessories or how you like to do your hair that's really going to be um, the thing that makes you feel at home and at ease in what you wear? So we gave her some of those tools. And this is just a few examples of how Alice has taken her style by and, and, and really um, embraced her style personality and feels really great and vibrant and looks amazing in it as well. So it was bringing in some of those feminine details through florals. It was embracing some of the elegant sultry through the colour using a lot of red. It was also going with the creative with her accessories. And okay, this is a little bit more of the smart casual bar wear but she even explored it through that too. But she's very much taken on board for her day-to-day -day wear and introduced colour, um, different sort of details and embellishments to really feel at home in what she is wearing. So from this, what we realise is that style personality is the key to creating a wardrobe that you absolutely love. You know, colour and fit, yes, but you can cheat a little bit with that. You can't really cheat with your style personality. If you don't feel good in what you wear, then you're not going to feel good and project that um, to everybody else and even to yourself, how you feel about yourself. So here are the eight style personalities that we work with. Now, generally you have a dominant style personality and then you might have two or three other style personalities that different elements come into play. That's what makes each of us so unique. We don't want to stick you in just one box, but by understanding that you're a combination of two, three, four, or if you're a combination of five, it usually means you're a gorgeous creative. It gives you the power to understand what elements you can bring in to your everyday wardrobe and why you love some things and why you steer away from other things. And then being able to appreciate other people's style personalities too and really understand them just that little bit better. So first up here with Ellen, we have your suited booted classic look. So if you think about that, it's all about the tailoring, classic timeless pieces, sort of core or neutral colours, say your blacks, your camels, um, creams, beiges, and also maybe navy and grey. So they always look appropriate and timeless. Next up, we have our gorgeous relaxed naturals. And for them, comfort is key. So they want things to feel really good against the skin. They don't want anything too tight or constrictive. They want things that, you know, are, you know, you have to, it's, it's very much that idea that everything should be practical. No over-the-top embellishments at all. Then you've got your dramatics. And I like to say that your dramatics are those type of people who would do their groceries in stilettos. They don't care about comfort like your relaxed naturals. What they care about is very much, you know, the look over comfort. So think Lady Gaga as well. Then you've got your rebellious. Your rebellious style personality is a little bit irreverent. Think um, band tees, leather, bit of fringing, a lot of like maybe metallic details, that type of thing. Then you've got your gorgeous creatives and they love anything and everything, but they want it to look a little bit different. They don't want to be the same as everybody else. And you might have a classic base, but then you might have a creative element to you. So it might be that you like things that are a little bit more structured and tailored, but maybe your jewellery is a bit more creative or you love creative shoes. Then we've got our gorgeous sultries. So I always tease anyone who loves animal print um, that they've got a little bit of sultry going on. So they're really glamorous. They're all about showing off their beautiful curves, being really womanly, and maybe glamorous in terms of hair and makeup too.
Then we have our beautiful feminine who are really warm and open. They like things that are softer generally. Um, florals, for example, lace, you know, vintage style jewellery, that type of thing. And softer fabrics too and something that maybe has a little bit of a flow. And then we have our elegance. Now, elegance, I like to say, are a combination between your classic and your feminine. The difference is, is they use richer color than say what a classic would use. And they still do some print and pattern, but it's usually a little bit more pared back. They love to use richer colors and things look expensive. Doesn't mean that they are, but they just have that overall look of sophistication through there. But it is really important to bear in mind that you are going to be a combination of these. We generally find we don't have someone who is strictly a classic or strictly a relaxed natural, that they'll usually be different combinations and they all play beautifully together. The other thing to know is you might be a different style personality in a different part of your life. So, for example, at work, you might be more, say, classic, where at play, you might be more feminine. Um, again, you might be more relaxed natural um, for work, depending on what you do. But for play, you might be a little bit more rebellious. Or you could be all of those at the same time. And trust me, in a more corporate environment, you can absolutely bring a rebellious or dramatic style element into it so that you always feel like you, no matter the context that you are in. So now that you've got some of this information, what can you do with it? Well, I want to give you some action that you can do. So I'd love you to choose one to three items from your wardrobe, I would say, that you really love wearing other than tracksuit pants or rug boots, because at the moment, that would be something that I wouldn't mind, but that you really, really love wearing. And then I want you to look at it and go, what is it that I love about this item? Is it the colour? that I really love? Is it the fabric or the feel of it? Is it the print that you love or is it the fit or structure that is really appealing to you? And what sort of style personality do you feel like it represents? Does it represent a classic or relaxed, natural, rebellious, your dramatic, your creative, your sultry, your feminine or your elegant? And do that for a couple because it gives you a little bit of a clue. And it might be that you have different pieces um, in different contexts of your life, like work, play or event wear, that it might appear a little bit differently. And just notice that because what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to walk into a store and sort of scan and go, you know what, I understand even though that looks great and it looks great on somebody else, I know I'm not going to feel great in that. It's not really my style. Where over here, that's my style. And I can make a beeline for that and know that I can invest in that and feel really good and get lots and lots of wear out of it. And it will go with other things that I have in my wardrobe. So that's the number one reason that we find that most women fall out of love with their wardrobe. So it's just taking a bit of time to. Think on it, have a look in your wardrobe and explore why you love certain pieces in your wardrobe and perhaps why you don't. And it will come down to the style personality of it. Thanks so much for joining me and look out for our other two videos that will be coming out very shortly too. Take care. Bye.